CBS News is learning new details in the mysterious case of a missing mother in Colorado. Kelsey Barra disappeared more than two months ago, while her fiance, Patrick Frazee, is charged with murder. Well, now Crystal Lee, an Idaho nurse, is at the center of a cover up investigation. She pleaded guilty Friday to tampering with evidence in the case. And in an interview you'll see only on CBS this morning, Nikki Batiste sat down with Lee's close friend and confidant. She shares why she believes Lee admitted to helping Frazee try to hide Barrett's death. Nikki, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Well, now, Crystal Lee is a key witness in this case. She's known Patrick Frazee for 15 years and the two previously dated. But one of her closest friends says it was only recently that Lee discovered Frazee had been engaged to another woman, Kelsey Barrett, and that the pair had a child together. Do you think Patrick's a murderer? Yes. I do. I think he's a very dangerous person. Michelle Stein says her close friend Crystal Lee confided in her about her role in covering up Kelsey Barrett's death. We sat down with Stein in Twin Falls, Idaho, where the two women live. Has Crystal ever said that she's been fearful of him at any point? Yes. What did she say? She did tell me that she has never seen that kind of evil in anybody. Barrett, a 29-year-old pilot, vanished on Thanksgiving Day in Colorado and was last seen in this surveillance video, shopping with the one-year-old daughter she and her fiancé, Patrick Frazee, shared. Investigators say three days later, Barrett's cell phone pinged nearly 600 miles away in Gooding, Idaho, about an hour from Lee's home. Two text messages were sent, one to Barrett's employer, saying she would be away for a week and another to Frazee. Take me to the first moment Crystal told you that Patrick Frazee had tried to involve her in this crime. I will just tell you, Crystal was very, very scared. Crystal's a very level-headed, kind, fun, loving, happy-go-lucky person. She's, she's a tough cowgirl, but she was absolutely scared and extremely upset. On Friday, Lee admitted she dumped Barrett's cell phone just two days after Barrett's death. I have no right or authority to live in cell phone. And claimed she knew Frazee had already killed Barrett. She had very, very good reasoning for whatever it is she may or may not have done. What was the reasoning? I can't really comment completely, but fear and legitimate fear. That if she didn't comply with Patrick, he might kill her. Yes, that's what I believe, yes. Stein says Lee and Frazee, a blacksmith, met after high school at a ranch and bonded over horses. Were they in a sexual relationship recently? I don't want to comment on that. Frazee is currently in jail without bail. Authorities believe he murdered Barrett at her home, but they have not determined a clear motive and her body still has not been found. As a part of her plea, sources tell CBS News Lee is expected to testify against Frazee and possibly reveal what Frazee told her about Barrett. You have no doubt Crystal I wasn't involved in the murder. absolutely no doubt whatsoever. Lee is not in custody, but faces up to three years in prison when she's sentenced. CBS News has reached out to Lee's attorney, but has not heard back. Frazee's preliminary hearing is scheduled for February 19th, and we hope to finally hear some of the evidence in this case, which has all been suppressed. And Kelsey and Patrick's daughter, Haley, is with Kelsey's parents, correct? Yes, that's right. All right, Nikki, thank you.